it doesn't matter how many times you fall the one time you will stand up is the one that will be celebrated carry nova carry nova carry nova hi everyone welcome back to my space happy new year i think it's still safe to say happy new year to you happy new year to each and every one of you welcome back again yes this video was supposed to go out before now but so, so, so many things that happened so how have you been enjoying your holidays uh, are you out of holidays i am out of holidays back to work so now from the title of the video we have already known what this video is all about how can i maximize my 2024 Yes, it is a new year and we just shouted happy new year and as I'm talking to you now We are getting to the third week and God has been faithful. You know to me every year 2024 just like every other year they are the same just like this year we have 366 days because it is a leap year okay so nothing really changes uh, we have uh, 52 weeks we have seven days a week that is Sunday to Saturday we have uh, 12 months and the clock continues to tick the only change we see in a year or in a new moon is the change that i and you can be put in can put into it for example our efforts remain the same the way we talk the way we do things our energy towards life remain the same to be honest with you nothing will really change it is the energy and the force we put into things that will actually bring the desired change into this year so that is to be said that if i have to maximize my 2024 so there are things i need to learn there are things i need to unlearn there are things i need to start doing the aim of this video is just to make sure that at a point that we can always like refer back okay so with that being said how can we be able to maximize our 2024 number one way we can be able to maximize this year is by starting it with god you know it is not uh, a coincidence that almost every church is now every beginning of the year it now seems as if it's a tradition that they take 21 days fasting and prayer some even do 40 days some even do 100 days it depends on how god directs the leaders of those ministries but from from the beginning of the year to at least the first month january there is always a, a fasting and prayer that is getting you closer to your maker me i feel it's um, intentional and you being intentional towards it because uh, if you are going to go in through this year you have to go with someone that knows the way so there is a person which is god he's the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end even before the beginning of this year he has already known it and he has seen it and he's the only person that can direct you into the year because he's the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end so there is a need for you to follow him so him seeing that you are trusting him to say okay father i don't know this way and i want you to go with me that he will definitely follow you so after you've committed your way into the lord you are not just going to sleep you are going to now clearly define where you are going to the Bible says in the book of Habakkuk, it says, write the visions and do what make it plain. You are going to define where do I want to see myself by December 2024. Because whatever is not defined cannot be gotten. Whatever is not defined cannot be assigned. Whatever that is not defined cannot be realized. So until you define where you want to see yourself, until you define who you want to become at the end of this year, spiritually, materially financially which is very important all round okay there is need so if for example like i mentioned financially now maybe you are in the realms of the hundreds and you want to move to the realms of billions okay so there is a need for you to start now to plan you have to write it down you have to make it plain after you've done this that takes us to the next point write it step by step step it down how they can be achieved you have given a bulky vision you've given a large vision you have to break it down how can i be able to achieve this how can i be able to do this how can i be able to do that you have to do what write it down that is why make it plain that have a good chapter two and if so i say make it plain so that anybody that sees it you can align with your vision and you know one thing that making it plain does it helps you to know people to get out to remove we'll get to that you know it's when anybody that comes and sees your vision for example if you go to my house and um, i write no smoking here 
that will put everybody in check make practical steps if by the end of the year you have a plan that you want to go to holidays in germany i don't know why i mentioned germany anyway in germany or france there's a need for you to plan get your tickets earlier because the, with the rate that airfares are going up you need to buy earlier than than usual okay so you have to buy earlier maybe you want to go by road just whatever step it down if you want to start building a house see there's this place in the bible that says him that started building i'm going to paraphrase right now he must have a building without first sitting down to count the cost of his building we end up stopping at the way which is quite a shameful thing but for you not to even start building i'm not trying to shame anybody after that but it's better for you not to start building than to start building and not completing it, okay? You have to put down step by step what and what is needed to be put in place. After you have done that, after you have written all these things, stop procrastinating. The time starts now. Whatever you want to do, don't say, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Because tomorrow has its own course. If you want to like travel to go and get your work done, travel now. Make that journey now. Embark on that trip now because tomorrow has its own stress tomorrow has its own work to give to you and if you are not ready for tomorrow if you are not willing and ready for God tomorrow or maybe you now carried over the luggages of yesterday into the next day you find out that it will even be too much and you keep on carrying over carrying over carrying over by the time you get to December you've not achieved it okay let God and your conscience which is the most important thing not even people your conscience clap for you that you have already done what right so avoid any form of procrastination attack now and god will help us after you've avoided procrastination after you've been into the work just like um, nehemiah went into work there will be tambalas and tobias there will be distractors distractors coming in form of people coming in form of bad news coming in form of uh, your phone your phone please let us let our phones not use us to say kill all those tumblers and tobias make sure they are not interfering with your life another strategic form of distraction is medicals some people have um, like inculcated this into their into their routine most africans we don't do body checkup general body checkup check your vitals your kidney check your liver check your heart everything just you know there was a sad clip i watched on on the internet where a man slumped and eventually died on his birthday celebration he stood up and danced after he has danced for it he won't dance much so he had danced for a while he slumped and he died and it was quite painful there is a need for us to check our vitals see my brothers and my sisters if you are over 30 let me just be fair enough 35 there is a need for you to go in and check your vitals you must not feel the sign in fact any sickness i've still given you sign has been there all along so let us learn to check our vitals to avoid any any medical surprises in the future which could cause distraction so this is part of distraction and very important also i want to chip in for healthy eating learn to put your body at a stop and tell you this is the time you should stop eating your body obeys you you are the chairman here this is your courage this thing this flesh is my career you are the one which is a spirit man. You are the one in charge. So tell your body, this is a time I don't want to feed you. And after a while, it could be quite difficult. Just like, I'm use myself as an example, okay? Just like I, I like to wake up quite early. But sometimes because of the cold and all that, I, I tend to like slow back and sleep. So if you are like me, there is a need for you to tell your body. After you've done it for a while, I think a habit is formed after 21 days. And there is nothing as good as forming a good habit. How can I maximize this year? Keep on moving. Do not stop. Keep on taking that step. It could be one step at a time. Keep on doing it. Don't be distracted. Pull down the failure and keep on moving. It doesn't matter how many times you fall. The one time you will stand up is the one that will be celebrated. So keep on moving. A stagnant water does not may produce nothing. It is merely a stagnant water. It's very dirty. Any water that is not moving is dirty. So do not be that stagnant water. Don't lie down where you're falling. Keep on moving. 
keep on making a difference keep on going and i believe the lord is will help us in jesus name i'm going to see you in december 31st 2024 celebrating this year is not going to see our end no it's not going to happen we are going to see the end of the sea and we are coming out a better person thank you so much for sticking around with me do remember something always love yourself always celebrate yourself and ensure you appreciate yourself always until i see you on my next one